option, which was happen which happened under the previous government. Yes, well done, question number 11, David Bennett. Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Corrections. Does he stand by all of the statements made in prison network capacity papers, including that the planned 1,500 bed facility at Waikaria is the most efficient and cost-effective way to add quality and capacity to the prison network, and that large-scale prisons allow a full range of specialist facilities and rehabilitation programs? The Honourable Kelvin Davis. Mr Speaker, yes, good decision making is about taking your time to look at all the options. That is exactly what we did. In the end, we made the right decision to build a smaller prison and a specialised mental health facility. We know the option to build a smaller prison is more effective in providing real rehabilitation. What is not cost effective is building mega prisons which churn out better criminals and not better people. Supplementary question. When his Cabinet paper of the 28th of May 2018 describes the 1,500-bed Waikaria prison as an American-style mega-prison, what specifically about the build makes it American-style, given his Cabinet paper order, dated... Order, order, order. The question is finished. No, it is it's finished. Got... No, I've got to explain. No, no, you don't, you don't got to explain at all. You've asked the question. <laughs> Kelvin Davis. A point of order, David Bennett. I haven't finished the question because it's got a, a given. That, that was and, the point. And you're not allowed givens. <laughs> Kelvin Davis. Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, American-style prisons are bigger uh, and house more people. Uh, what we've done is build a small prison, smaller prison, sorry, what we will do is build a smaller prison with mental health facilities. Uh, only in, on Planet National is building a mega prison a good idea. Catch and release. Why then did in this Cabinet paper of the 20th of December 2007 did he propose to build the 1500 bed Waikiri proposal saying it was the only sensible plan of action. No, no Mr Speaker, uh, the members got it wrong because what we were talking about is continuing the preparation work in, the, in anticipation of building something. If we didn't do that, we, would have, uh, we could have had to foot a big bill. Point of order, I wish to table um, a document showing that the Minister said... Is, is the document there. publicly available? Uh, it has been released recently, yes it is, but um, well, it I'm not definitely gonna, shows I'm not the Minister it said that. Just Does the member have a further supplementary? Yes. <laughs> Can he confirm that he said at Vote Corrections Estimates that no additional specialist facilities and rehabilitation programmes for the pop-up beds proposed in the Prison Capacity Cabinet papers are funded in Budget 2018. Uh, sorry, Mr Speaker, could you repeat the question? Can he confirm that he said at Vote Corrections Estimates that no additional specialist facilities and rehabilitation programmes for the pop-up beds that are proposed in his Prison Capacity Cabinet papers are funded in Budget 2018? Mr Speaker, uh, the uh, pop-up units that the, I think the, the member is referring to, there will be some facilities, but not to the extent that you would get in a, uh, such as what we're building at Waikiria. Point of order, Mr Speaker. A point of order, the Honourable Deputy. I'd like to table the um, transcript uh, where the Minister said that there would be no extra is funding. A, is this a select committee transcript? Yes. If the member proposes to, once more to table something which he knows can't be tabled and won't be put to the House, I will treat him as previous speakers have done with members proposing in that manner as being disorderly. Through the supplementary, David Bennett. How does the Minister reconcile his answer that there would be additional funding when at the vote corrections estimates he said there would be no extra funding for those services? 
Uh, no, Mr. Speaker, that's not what I said. But what I'll tell you what uh, is the, are the facts of the matter now. That when we became government, the uh, prison population was some 10,400. It is now lower than what it was when we, in, when we inherited the situation. In fact, it's decreased by some 600 since March. Whatever the, the member is trying to get at, the fact of the matter is, is that what this government is doing, not just in uh, corrections, but also in, across the justice sector with my colleagues, the Hon. Stuart Nash and the Hon. Andrew Little, what we are doing is working. We haven't changed a single uh, bit of legislation, and yet we are uh, getting these decreases in the prison population. Now, it's early days yet. Uh, it, it may be just a, a bit of a blip. We, as I said, uh, have said pre previously, we have to wait for a few more months' worth of data to see if this is an actual trend. But we are doing better now than the, in, in nine months in government than those people did in nine years of government. Right. Yeah. Do you first government soft on crime? Does he think that $750 million for just 600 beds at Waikere Prison is good value for money? when the $1 billion to build 1,500 beds would have managed demand, as well as including better rehabilitation and mental health facilities, according to his Cabinet papers. Mr Speaker, again, they're missing the point. What we're doing is reducing the prison population. We're, it's, it's started to go down. Uh, we're, we're doing a lot better, but only on Planet National is spending $250 million on, on capacity that is not necessary a good thing. Supplementary question. Can he confirm that in his 28th of May 2018 Cabinet paper, saying that on the 9th of April, Cabinet directed the Department of Corrections to place its planned procurement of a new prison facility at Waikaria into a state of managed delay, that at that stage, no contract for a private-public partnership had been signed by the Department of Corrections, despite Grant Robertson saying on the 20th of June 2008 that the PPP contract for Waikaria Prison was in place and that breaking it would have cost significant sums of money to this government. Mr Speaker, at that stage a procurement process was in place. But look, we've just took a pragmatic uh, position. Uh, uh, PPP is going to build the prison and as I've said earlier, uh, Corrections will be the uh, organisation that will run it and so they should. Member finished. Uh, question number 12, Chris Bishop. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker. To the Minister of